Hi everybody, my name is Yu Yao. Uh, all my friends call me YY. And the dance style that I dance is locking. So this year actually, uh, I just turned 29. So I've been dancing locking for about 11 years. Okay, so how I started dancing was I met a friend. Uh, his name is called KK. He also teaches locking currently. Uh, we started off with doing beatboxing like... <laughs> And then after that, we slowly progressed to dance. So the first dance that I wanted to learn was actually popping. Yeah, but uh, that time popping was really a hot dance. So like everybody is trying to learn that style. So there wasn't any slots to learn popping at that time. So last time it's always hot, hot and lock. So I thought popping and locking was the same thing. So uh, actually I tried to go for locking class. But the first lesson, uh, the first move that I learned wasn't robot. Because that was what I actually wanted to learn. But the first move that I learned was the lock. And from then on, I fell in love with the style. Because I feel locking is really funky. And the dance is always very upbeat. So everything goes fast and then sometimes it goes slow. So I really like the style a lot. That's why I continue until today. So the reason why I dance was because uh, previously I'm actually a very introverted person. And I didn't have a lot of friends. So when I started to do locking, I made a lot of friends and I was able to start to express myself and be who I am and who I want to be. Okay, the one thing that I want people to know about dance is uh, when you dance, you don't have to make sure that you look good or you look like really professional, but it's more about expressing yourself. Like when you have down times, definitely your dance will not be as perfect as when you are on the form. So it's okay to accept yourself as who you are when you are dancing. Okay, so today we're gonna learn two fundamental moves uh, and one signature move. Okay, for the two fundamental moves, uh, it's wrist roll and uh, the other one will be the lock. Okay, for the signature move, we're gonna do scoop ball. And uh, yeah, so uh, what's so interesting about these moves is I feel that uh, when Don Campbell dance locking, he always like to add in this uh, wrist roll to uh, differentiate the dance with like a normal movement because it gives off a different flavor when we do a wrist roll before doing another fundamental. Yeah, and also for scoop board, uh, it's a very widely used uh, move and it's also uh, very explosive and at the same time very expressive. Okay, for the song, it's in the link in the description below and for today's video is mirrored so you can uh, take your time to slowly replay the videos and learn the moves. So now let's go to do the moves. Hi everybody. So for today we're gonna focus on three moves. First one is the wrist roll, and the next one is lock, and the last one will be scoop up. Okay. So for wrist roll, uh, one exercise that I always do to practice this move is to stretch your hands out and then rotate them inwards like this. Okay. So you can feel the muscle being activated on your forearm. So rotate inwards, okay, and then slowly move your hands towards your chest and towards your ears, okay, so remember this motion. Okay, for the girls, you guys have the advantage because you know when you have long hair, you always do this, right, to put your hair behind your ears, yes, it's almost the same motion. So here, put the hair behind, okay, this feeling, okay, so uh, we're going to practice this move, okay, for this move is called wrist roll. So actually, what you need to focus on is the uh, wrist rolling. Okay, so don't really care like where you do the rolls. You can do it anywhere. Okay, but just for the drills, we're gonna do it uh, beside of yours. Okay, so first step we go one and two, three and four. Okay, one more time, five, six, seven, go, one, two, Three, four. Okay, we're gonna try our right hand. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nice. So that's for the wrist roll. Next one is the lock. Okay, for the lock. What I want you to focus on is your elbows. Okay, instead of sometimes when uh, we do the lock, we do this. Okay, it looks like the lock, 
but you didn't engage your elbows. So always remember to push up the elbows and try your best to uh, use more energy and go down. So uh, one thing that most of us do is we will try to use our back muscle and you will hunch, right? Try your best to make it straight so that when you are going down, it doesn't hurt your back. So use your core muscle from here and down. Okay, uh, one simple way to remember this is imagine you are going to a supermarket, okay, pushing a trolley, but at the same time engaging your elbows. So from here, push and lock with the elbows. Okay, one more time, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Okay, so for the legs, imagine you are sitting down. Okay, so sit down, ha. sit down. Okay, combine everything together and lock. Next move we're gonna do is scoop board. Okay, for scoop board, I like this move a lot because it feels like you're squishing yourself together and expanding out. So it's like in, up, up, tuck, and up. Okay, so the first end is very important. And you can go in, tighten your body and scoop up, close up. Uh, your right hand is wrist roll and your left hand is like a keeping time. Okay, so we're gonna break down to the upper body and the lower body. So for the upper body is wrist roll and keeping time. One. Okay, then you cross. Cross. And both hand wrist roll. And end off with a tap. Okay, so one, two, three, and Okay, for the legs, and one, and two, three, and four. A little bit like a marching style. Okay, so in, up, in, up, up, and up. Okay, now we're going to combine both together. Five, six, seven, go, and one, two, three, and four. Okay, last time, five, six, seven. Go, one, two, three, and four. Yes, that's it for the techniques. Going on to the choreo. The first eight is gonna be wrist roll. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you should be focusing on is the wrist roll. If you wanna add in a rhythm, it's nice. Okay, you don't have to just add in an up rhythm. You can even go down. Okay, but for today's uh, choreography, we're gonna do it with the up rhythm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, right, and left, and. Okay, so that's the first eight. Now to the second eight, we're gonna do it a little bit faster. So it's gonna be. One, two, three, four. Okay, for this one, just remember when you go uh, 12, try to keep your up rhythm. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, after that, both hands 12, wrist roll, I mean, okay, and lock. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, lock. Okay, next one is gonna be a little bit different. So when you do the wrist roll now, just now when you do the wrist roll is wrist roll back and un wrist roll. Right, the feeling. So, ha, ha. But for this one, we're gonna do two wrist roll at the same time. So, wrist roll, wrist roll, and lock. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, lock, da, da, lock. Okay, last time, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Four, five, lock, seven, lock. Okay, yes, that's the second eight. Okay, the next eight is up, lock, up, lock. Okay, so it's almost the same as robot shuffle, right? But for this one, instead of going up, we just gonna keep our body up. So, one, lock, one, Lock. Okay, for our legs, 
is the same as the two step. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna combine it together. Five, six, seven, and one, lock, up, lock. Okay, so that's the first four counts. One, two, three, four. Okay, next time we're gonna do a little bit of a slow motion, but this time you're gonna feel like your lock is going there and coming back. So it's like a boom. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so boom, four, five, six, seven, go, one, block, one, block, boom, and block. Okay, we're counting five, six, seven, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, block. Okay, last eight, scoop ball. Okay, start with the scoop ball first. So from this position, we're gonna go and one, two, three, and four. Then the variation is gonna be five. Okay, then legs keep same. My hands goes like a rolling position. Okay, and then we go back to the same position again. Hop and walk and one. Okay, so for the legs is one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, one more time. Just the legs. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, for the hands. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, combine both together. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so that is the last eight. So now we're gonna combine everything together from the top. Okay, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and one. And that's the end of the code. Thank you. So today we're gonna do two fundamental moves and one signature move. Okay, the first fundamental move that we're gonna do is the up, also known as the muscle man or a prep. It's a preparation move to be done before any other locking moves. And the next fundamental move that we're gonna do is the lock, lock. And after that, we'll end off with the signature move, Scooby Doo. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, for the song, it's in the link in the description below. And for today's video, it's mirrored. So you can uh, take your time to slowly replay the videos and learn the moves. So now let's go to do the moves. Hi everybody! Yeah, so today is the second part of the video. So for today, we're gonna do uh, three moves. First one is the up, which is also known as the muscle man by some people. And also uh, like a preparation move to the next move. Okay, and the next uh, move that we're gonna do is the lock, lock. Okay, so previously we learned the lock, but today we're gonna add in another lock to make it a little bit more catchy. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna go to Scooby Doo. Cha, 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 cha. For the prep or muscle man, you relax your body first and then you stand up. Okay, it's almost like a, a tension, that kind of feeling. So relax and up. Okay, for your hands, 
imagine that you are pulling something up like really fast. So imagine your friend wants to throw a cake at you, right? And then you have a paper or a poster and you want to like guard yourself. So you pull it up fast. Okay? So from here, relax and up. Okay? Again, from here, relax and up. Last time, relax and up. Okay, next time we're gonna do lock lock. Okay, so uh, the same as the previous one, focus on your elbows. But this time around, you're gonna do it two times. Okay, so uh, when you do it two times, try to make sure that both your locks are the same intensity and the same uh, angles. Okay, so now, down. Okay, so most of the time you will do lock lock and you'll return to your original position. So lock lock, lock lock. Okay, sideways, lock, 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 okay? So for this move, uh, most of the time, uh, the common mistake that people will make is they will do like really small, so it's a bit different from how normally they execute the lock. So uh, this is something for you to take note. So just make sure that it's always the same size and the same intensity, okay? Last one is the scooby loop. Okay, for me, this move, it's a very uh, flowy move because it's you go up, down, kick and step. Okay, so we're gonna break it down first. For the first two counts, same thing as a prep. You go up, prep, hit, and down. So when you go down that time, your legs open. Okay, again, up and down. Okay, so for the hands, up and down. It's like almost like you're gonna run off that kind of feeling. Okay, so up and down. Okay, so you're gonna combine both together. Prep and down. Okay, so uh, just to take note one thing is try not to be too straight because if you are doing this, it looks really funny, right? It looks really funny. So just arch your back a little bit. Up and down. Okay? Five, six, seven, and up and down. Okay? So next one that we're gonna do is the kick and step. Okay, for me personally, when I do a kick and step, I like it such that when you kick, the person in front of you can see the sole of your shoes. Okay, so kick. Okay, and the feeling is not like a soccer kick, okay? But it's more of like a kick, okay? So when you do the kick, try to make sure that your hands follow through as well. Okay, so kick and when you end, uh, try to keep your legs really close to your chest and step. Okay, so when you do this, if I'm doing a move that's very explosive, boom, pa, pa, it looks really strong. Okay, so kick and step. Okay, hands is keeping time, keeping time. Okay, so ta, ta. Okay, we're gonna do together. Five, six, seven, and kick, step. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, go, kick, and step. Okay, try everything together. Five, six, seven, and up, down, kick, and step. Five, six, one more time. Up, down, kick, and step. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go on to the choreography now. So for the choreography, the first up, we're gonna hold for two count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four. Okay, from here, we're gonna do it double time. Five, six, and seven, eight, and five. Six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and. Okay. Next one, we're gonna do a variation. Okay, with the legs going up. So, one. Two and so for the legs, relax, up, 
it's just uh, your legs is going to be on the floor. So up, and two. Okay, five, six, seven, and one, and two. Okay, crunch your body and lift up your legs. Okay, your hands, same thing, up, two, two, five, six, core, combine, one, two, and five, six, seven, and one, two, and. Okay, now we're gonna to change to the other side. Up, lock, lock. Okay, same thing, legs, try to make sure that your weight shift is always on the legs that is on the ground. So when you are here, if I do this, the whole way is supposed to be on this leg. Okay, same thing for this. Same thing. Okay. So we'll try one time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, and. Okay, from here, we're gonna walk forward a little bit. So step up and do the prep. Here, up, and lock, lock. Okay, so for this one, the steps is step up, down, up, down. So your body goes up and low, up and low, up, down, up, down. Okay, we try just for this one. Five, six, seven, go, up, tap, tap, up, tap, tap. Okay, so we try from the leaf leg one to finish off this eight. Five. Six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and. Okay, so for the next one is we'll go low. Tap, tap, up, tap, tap, up. Okay, so the counting is one, two, and three, four, and. Okay, one more time, five, six, seven, go. One, two and three four and okay for this one your body goes up straight and same as scooby do you go down okay almost the same as scooby do okay so your legs half squat and up okay so up down lock lock okay when you are down you do the lock at the same time up lock lock up lock lock okay Next time you come up, hold for one count, six and seven and eight. Okay, so we go through from the top for the third eight, five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Okay, one more time, five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, and five. Six and seven and eight. All right, we did reach the last uh, one eight. Okay, we've got Scooby Doo. So for Scooby Doo, we go up, down, kick, and step. Okay, the second part is a variation. Up, down. Instead of a kick and step, we're gonna do a tap and tap and one. Okay, we're gonna try the last eight together. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, kick and step. Two, two, tap and tap and one. We're gonna go sideways. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three and four. Five, six, seven and eight, ten, one. Okay, now you're gonna do combine everything together. So you're gonna start off with the one, one, two, three, four, five, six and Eight and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and one, two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and school. Two, ha ha ha, school be two, ha ha ha, and four. Okay, so you always start on the one. All right, now you're gonna combine everything together. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Eight and one, two and hey, ta ta two, ta ta two, ta ta hu, ta ta hu, ta ta hu, ta 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 ta, hey, ta 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 ta, two ta 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 and lock. And that's the end of the choreo. Thank you everyone for trying this, 
and see your video soon. Thank you everybody for doing the video together with me. Okay, take your time, uh, replay the video as many times as you want so that you can get familiar with the moves. And once you are familiar with it, you can check out the next video with the next move. Okay, also I want to thank uh, Skate for this opportunity uh, for me to share with you guys about more about locking. And also check me out at, at Yu Yu Funky Mario on Instagram so that you can uh, follow me and look for other classes that actually I've taught. Okay, lastly, uh, show us what you learn. Tag us at SkateSG on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. See you guys on the next episode.